Our world is on fire, figuratively and literally, and the one thing that could help us is stuck in bureaucratic quicksand. Climate finance. The UN's top climate official just issued a bold call to action, and the message is clear. If we don't scale up funding fast, we might not be able to douse the flames in time. Wait, what exactly is climate finance? Well, think of it like the fuel we need to power everything from renewable energy projects to disaster preparedness plans. It's the money needed to transition the global economy from a carbon-intensive system to one that can not only survive the changing climate, but also thrive in it. But the issue? There simply isn't enough cash flowing into these life-saving initiatives. And it's not just about raising money. It's about getting the money into the right hands, fast. Here's the kicker. Despite repeated global commitments, the flow of funds isn't anywhere near what's required to keep climate change in check. The Paris Agreement set a target of $100 billion per year from wealthy countries to help developing nations tackle climate issues. That figure sounds astronomical, right? But let me hit you with a fact that might blow your mind. Last year, the total amount of climate finance raised fell about $17 billion short of that target. Imagine if your house was on fire and the fire department only showed up with a third of the water it needed to put out the flames. That's where we are right now. The UN's climate chief is tired of watching the world treat climate finance like some abstract concept or political chess piece. In a recent statement, she urged governments and the private sector to stop dragging their feet and start acting like their lives and their economies depend on. Spoiler alert, they do. Let's break this down in a relatable way. Think about your car's check engine light. You can ignore it for a while, but at some point, the engine's going to give out and you'll find yourself stranded. That's kind of what's happening on a global scale. Countries are ignoring the flashing warnings, floods, droughts, wildfires, thinking they can kick the can down the road. But the road is quickly running out. And here's where the situation gets particularly frustrating. We know what needs to be done. Renewable energy is cheaper than ever. Green infrastructure could revolutionize transportation, agriculture, and manufacturing. Yet, the investment required to bring these solutions to scale isn't flowing nearly fast enough. Now brace yourselves, because here's where it gets really infuriating. There's actually plenty of money in the world. The global economy is worth over $100 trillion. That's trillion with a T. The problem isn't a lack of money. It's a lack of political will, cooperation, and effective financial mechanisms to channel the funds where they're needed most. Governments and companies hesitate to shift funds from fossil fuels to sustainable solutions due to perceived risks, but the real risk lies in inaction. The climate crisis is costing billions annually, with adaptation costs in developing countries projected to reach $300 billion to $500 billion by 2030. This raises the issue of loss and damage, where developing nations seek compensation from wealthier countries for a crisis they did not create. The UN climate chief advocates for innovative financing mechanisms, including green bonds and debt for climate swaps. The private sector must move beyond greenwashing to invest genuinely in renewable energy and sustainable practices. Urgent climate finance scaling is essential to avoid catastrophic outcomes, requiring strong political will. Please like, share, and subscribe.